So that's the last time I watched Judge Judy Well in the pants on. I mean, but a half an hour. Right, half that's an hour. So stuff. much done. Oh, Howdy, oh boys and girls. hey, people. Welcome back to the podcast. This is back? Yeah, from last week. Oh, from last week. It's all just one big continuation. Yeah, most definitely. You know, as is our minds and souls. It's just one constant flow. It's a circular motion. So, uh, it goes up and down. Ride the bull. And around. Ride the bull. Feeling the flow. Send it home. How are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just stuck ridiculous. watching. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. How oh, are you? Oh, man. How are you doing? How are you, buddy? I'm doing I am too. <laughs> I always wear two shirts. Uh, I am doing all right. <laughs> kind of weird. Fuck it. Who said it's kind of weird? What? 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 Are we ninety years old now? <laughs> what? Turned out for what? <laughs> That's terrible. Well, you know, before you guys interrupted our conversation <laughs> about Judge Judy. Budge Judge Judy. We were talking about jury duty. Yeah. Fuck. You know, I just a, had jury duty. There's a reason why they call it duty. Because <laughs> it smells like shit. Uh, well, funny enough, I have never been selected or... But you've been called for jury duty. No. You've never been called for jury duty. I've never been called or selected for jury duty. Shit, man. And it... I should have. <laughs> I've been called a bunch that I just never showed up. And I got called. And they were like, if you don't come this time, we're going to hold you in contempt. I was like, all right, shit, I guess I'm going. Is that what they said? Yeah, oh. I got a letter that was like, you never answered our questionnaire, <laughs> like, you need to show up on this date. I was like, oh, shit, all right. So I did, and it sucked. It was a whole fucking day. It was a fucking waste of a day. Well, yeah, you were there till like, what time? 8.30. 8.30. From 8.30 in the morning until 8.30 at night, a full-on 12-hour day. Volume. I didn't even think court was open Can you turn up the volume on our main one? What? Which one? Yeah, the volume. No, not, not on muted. Just scroll up a little bit. And there should be a leveler on the bottom of it. Yeah, that little, that blue bar. Just See pull that? that up a little bit. So we're in the yellow. Can, can you, are you saying you can't hear us at all? Or are you, or saying, you saying now, like this is louder now? Right, because, you know, if you can't hear us at all, you might need to turn your volume on, Mama. No, I think we're good there. I think so, too, because yeah. I was, because we were peeking earlier. Speaking of peeking. Speaking of peeking. Let's talk about the peak of that dirt. Okay. Thank you. The jury duty. Sorry, we had to get it readjusted. Yeah, we're all set now. We are set to jet there and make go. it wet. It's always, both of us, both of you guys are like, yep, it's got to be sexual. Does, Boom. Does being wet have to be sexual? You both just made it sexual. How? Let's do it right now. How am I doing it right now? Not you. Why are you hand jizzing? Oh, that's right. Spider Jizz Productions. Uh, That's why if we go back to last week, if anybody remembers from last week. Just we were, wait. You'll get to see you'll get to see our producer shirt. Oh are we doing that later in the episode? Yeah, when we're okay. Alright, that's fine. When we take a break. Oh, when we take a break, we're gonna take show, a break. We're gonna take a break. I right, gotcha. So, jury duty. <sighs> Any of you guys been to jury duty? Any it's of you enjoyed terrible. it? I wanna do it. No, you don't. I do because I wanna be able to serve my civil duty. I understand that. And the civil duty was not, it was a nice feeling, but I think it also could have been compressed into not 12 hours. Well, that, that seems, seems like an incredible waste of like resources and time. Over like an assault case too, right? Over an assault yeah. case. I don't think I can talk about it, but like... We're not, we're not talking about it. No, we're just saying, like, you know... Yeah. Don't kick people in the face. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was how that was before. But what, really what it seemed like was a child fight. It seemed like my kids yeah. fighting, and it got to a level where, like, a, a whole slew of adults had to get involved and be like, um, stop being idiots. Right. Bad. You are that's, bad. That's pretty much it. Stop yeah. being idiots. Stop being idiots. Yeah. So, but it was, yeah, I, never, it was I never got the option, never got the choice to do jury duty. I think if it gets, like, steamlined into a like a more efficient process than maybe yes, I think it's probably worth it yep not that bad nice part lunch in Greek town had part bad had part parking thing. but yeah if you gotta do it in Detroit I'm sure that that is no fun no I had to do it out yeah. here which Greek, was Greek fine yeah. we got pizza for dinner pizza it was like being stuck in a bad Hallmark jury duty movie <laughs> like the last year you know what I mean yeah something like that but the, okay, the case wasn't nearly as serious so <clears throat> it was fine 
you know, you do your civil duty. Now I got a vacation for a year from civil duty. So, like, that's nice. Everyone gets that. Yeah, everyone gets that. Well, that one person doesn't want to agree. Like, no, no, no. Let's hear more about this case. That's. that's <laughs> yep. Did you have one of those? I did have one of those. I want to. I want to make sure everybody we thoroughly... else. Everybody else in the room was like, you know what? Yeah, I think we're all on the same page here. We're all on the same page. Like, let's just get the fuck. It's been a whole fucking long day. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. And this one guy was like. I mean, I, I understand it. I, I'm with you all. I, I'm like, I don't want to just push this, but like, I want to give it its due. I want to give it its time and, you know, to discuss about it. And it was like, yeah, but we're all on the same page. Right. We're on the so same page. We don't have to discuss the but future. I want to hear the case shit, but... one more time. Oh uh, yeah. Let's go through the witnesses one more time. It's all right. I think he just enjoyed company. I think that was really what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pop bottles, popping bottles. Pop, yeah. Glass is the best way to drink soda. Class is the best way to consume a lot of things. I can't disagree with that statement. I mean, there you go. Oh, man. But, I mean, you know what? I think that our judicial system is a little messed up. I think it's really messed up. Yeah. I mean, I think that there's a lot of times in certain cases, you know, especially when it comes to, like, uh, people separating or, you know, family court where things are biased towards... One way or the other. One way or the other. Yeah. I mean, my biggest concern with yesterday was that I can see how innocent people are put in jail. For oh, tried, yeah. For convicted for a wrong crime. If you spend four days deliberating over the same case and you're stuck with somebody who's just like, no, I, w- I think we should do it this way. And you're like, I miss my kids. Like, fine. Right. Fine. Motherfucker's right. guilty. Right. I don't give a shit. Like, let's just give me the fuck out of this room with this asshole. Just one person just yeah. to drag it out. Right. So, oh, I think yeah. it's... Mm, I'm not sure that's the, the most efficient way to do that, but... Like, you know, I would more than rather, you know, be in, like, uh... Like, big giant lawsuits, like that McDonald's lawsuit where the lady got burned, or... Like something like that. Something crazy. interesting, or like yeah. an OJ case, where there's, like, a lot of details and if a lot of shit. If the glove don't fit, you must, you must acquit. Chewbacca's a Wookiee. I think we've done that like four times on the podcast. Right. Yeah. Why is he from Hoth? Why is he on Endor? Yeah. It just doesn't, <laughs> doesn't make, sense. make sense. Yeah, there was none of that shit. It wasn't no. like Law and Order. There was no CSI. There was no DNA analysis. None of that shit. None? Yeah, it was just like listening to children talk and be like, oh. Well, uh. I watched Becky kick Lily it was, in the face it was super, with a set with of this, high heels. And, with a concrete with a con- block. <laughs> it was bad news. Yeah. She was wearing those, uh... Common sense. But I guess, like, we're all... It's all falling apart anyway, right? Well, common sense isn't common. It's no. like common knowledge. So why do we call it common sense, then? Because it was common back what in the we, day. Was it, though? More common than it is now. But how did we end up here if common we had common cur- sense? Because ah, people didn't... Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, then it wasn't no. common. So why are we calling it, it common It was common, sense? but it's becoming less common because people aren't passing it down. What are they passing down? People weren't eating Drugs. Tide Pods back then. No, 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 that's not the problem. People are stopping people from eating Tide Pods today. Right. That is the problem. You're saying Darwinism isn't effective? Yes. <laughs> Massively. We've stopped everyone. We've put helmets on kids. We've stopped them from running. We've made traffic stops, like, you know, super safe. Like, the, yeah. We've given everyone trophies. Yeah, it's kind of like giving everybody mulligans. Oh, and I don't know if everybody needs up. a mulligan. You get a mulligan. Right. Yeah. I don't know if we're there yet. Mm, no. But you know that, you know what it makes me think of? I can't believe you've never had jury duty. Well, you know. And I'm the one who wants it. Yeah, but I think you're also, I think, we talked about this. I think it's deadly to have someone of your size, like, in a government building. Like, I think your hands are weapons, and I think the security is like, we These know. Things? He can't come in here. These? Look. Dude, look, look, let's just do this on camera. Look at this. Look, what the fuck? No, he's got meat paws. He's got murder. Oh, here you go. Here. Murder. He's got murder paws. Okay. Murder paws. I mean, well, the kids who need a safe space are now adults, <laughs> right? But then those safe space kids are now having kids of their own. I'm just built different. <laughs> <laughs> built for tough. No. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Hi, April. April. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. April, do you like jury duty? You're a lunatic, man. I don't think anybody likes jury duty. I, I would, think if you went, I don't think you would like it. I think that, I think... Like, I genuinely so, tried to have an interest in it, but it, it just, no. Generation, Generation of, of pussies. pussies. Yeah. My thing is, is, 
I serve my country, right? Because I think it was the right thing to do, right? right. I was able, I was body well to do, you know, like that. Right. I want to participate yes. in my local. Everyone is offended by everything April says. Yes, super true. I want I want to be able to participate in my government. I want to be able to participate in my judicial system. I feel like that is by doing that. Yep, April gets it. Been there, done that. Boring as fuck. Right. That's boring as fuck. because nobody gets the you guys nobody gets the fun cases, right? But th- I don't even think that's it, man. I literally think like they it could be fun in court if everyone did their fucking job well, right. Yeah. Like, if they did more due diligence for all of their shit, for all of their cases, for all the evidence, it would have been good. But the problem is, they it's kind of, it's lackluster. Fair enough. You well, know? I think we've also been teased our whole lives with, like, these court cases on Law and Order. And on Where it's all, like, it's murder. Like, and, like, right. you did this, you son of a bitch. And they're like, I did. Yeah. Don't you doesn't tap your like last that. year's Pradas at me, honey. It, it, <laughs> happens. it doesn't happen <laughs> like that in court at all. It's just boring. That was a movie quote. I don't know what movie that was from. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have caught that. Don't you step your last year's Prada than me, honey. That's right, too, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. That like, producer's so well. like, yep. Legally blonde. No. Good but you know you know what would be great? What's that? What if they just let us have the government? Let us be in charge. You know, we did run for president last year. Didn't we talk about this? I think we talked about this with, with presidency last yeah, year. Yeah, we last should. Year, when we were running for president. I mean, so if if you were... He knows his language. He's like, Yes! From that movie too. Okay. Um. What would be the first law you would enact if you were, let's say, president? Dude, I have no idea. Oh come on! There's nothing you I, want to. The first, the first law. I have no idea. There's so much shit that we should change right now. Like furries are allowed to fuck in public? <laughs> no. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first <laughs> law, but that would definitely be up there somewhere. Not that they can. <laughs> that we need <laughs> to eradicate them or some shit like that. Uh, that's terrible. I don't care what you do in your house in public. No, but we no we talked about this when before. It gets like, when the, you start when to like be like, hey everyone, we're part of this as well. Right. Mm. Well, someone the other day um, made a very valid point to me, and I I thought about a lot is the fact that those things that are often sexual, right? Yeah. Require consent, right? Right. Consent is important. Yeah, of course. By doing that in public, you are not getting the consent of everyone in public. Drug testing for state assistance. That's a good one. I'm not... I You're don't not just, for that? No, it's not that I, I'm for or against it, right? But I do think that if you are on some type of state assistance, yeah. you should be required to at least be looking for a job or... Well, there should be more than just that. Right. Yeah, or yeah, my thing is, my thing is like... If you're on state decisions and you can do something, right? You're not physically disabled. Disabled or like on, yeah. Why not have those people Sorry, Google. pick up garbage on the side of the road? Or why not have them work on projects or things like that? That is true because people just fake it or... Yeah. Well, there's easy ways to do that. Though. Yeah. Ineffective. You're a dyer. Was interesting, but hand was up, not hand out. And the assembly room needed more movies. Mousetrap. What is Mouse talking about? I don't know. Board. I agree with that. Yeah, hand up, not hand out. What is the voyeur door was interesting, but it moved slow. Is that a movie? Uh, similar. I have no idea. I'm confused about your comment, uh, queen bitch, as you like to be referred to. But... Um, <laughs> She's no. gonna, you know, she's gonna be like here, county work programs, all that FDR. Oh, yes, okay. I've always, I, yeah, I like that concept because if you are, you don't have anything that you can do or something like that. Right. There are. They'll find something. For right. You, there are right. buildings that yeah. could be restored, stuff right. that I worked on. You could build houses for homeless people, like all these little things you could be doing. Jury right? selection, your mom says. Oh. Jury selection. To be honest with you, jury selection seemed like a waste of a lot of people's time. Right. Cause like, I, I was in a room with, like, maybe 40 people that showed up, and they picked seven of us, and then they traded out three of us. Are you sure they didn't use the other ones for a different case, though, after you got pulled? No, nobody. No. Ev- as soon as, like, as soon as they picked our seven cases for this one trial, they let everyone, they were like, all right, thank you, everybody. You can leave. Oh, dude. And they let everybody go home. So to take 40 people... Right, there was eight, there was five rows, 
of eight. Yeah, it's 45. Yeah, 45 people. Right? Mm -hmm. And they selected seven, ten of us. And then sent off three? And then sent off three, and then at the end of the trial, after hearing everything, they took they just picked one random juror. I was like, all right, fuck off. You can go home now. We only need six of you. Hmm. But don't talk to the case about anybody, because if we have a hung jury, mm. if we don't know if somebody gets sick or doesn't can't come up with a thing, right. we'll call you back, which is strange, but all right, whatever. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, the but I think... To exclude a potential juror. I really think that if we were, like, if In you charge? Were in charge, I think one of the first things that no, I would no, truly want to improve. enact, yeah. right, would be... You know, I had this in my head, and then we started going off topic, and then... Something else. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that I think that, that we could do to make the, this place better. But I think that the United States needs to focus on us. Instead of focusing on, on everyone else, right? Everyone I think, else I think the bed. problem is is that we've, we push our fingers too far out to everyone else, to right? stretch. Right. Yeah. You know, we've become so good at war. But that's our, that that's, that's our, like, that's our, our thing. Expert. Yeah. And that's really sad that that's our thing. Yeah. Like... Yeah, we're not number one in, like, new energy or clean energy or any of that other shit. We're just like, yeah, we'll fuck up your country. Where's the ban on nipples? the nipples. I, yeah, I mean, if a woman wants to breastfeed her kid in public, why? Who the fuck Why is it a thing? I mean... There creates civilian conservation corps on this day in 1933. President Franklin D. R. Roosevelt... Establishes the Civilian Conservation Corps CCC in an innovative federally funded organization that puts thousands of Americans to work during the Great Depression. All right, we don't need to see more than that. No. I get it. But the whole thing, the whole concept it, it, is that there's useful things that people could be doing. Yeah, other than sitting around just collecting money. Right, and right. on top of that, you know what I mean? If we brought all the troops back and we put them to work on things here in the United States, right, or if we rebuilt our roads... Or rebuild our infrastructure. Put some money into education. Put get some rid money of into education. Taxes for the like, you know, put more taxes Found, on the rich. Like, right. get companies to keep their uh, uh, without even manufacturing without even, here in the country without even, somewhere else. If we spent less money on war, yeah, we'd have a lot more money for other shit. We could do so much more. We could get ourselves. Do you know how bad that would be? Our, Don't you know everybody would freak out about like? But we need defense. China's gonna come here and take us over. But that's the thing is, is. Canada if has giant if moose. If we're all here and we're all training, right? I can't tell you. You know, we would be prepared for the next big thing. Yeah. I'm not saying cut down the military. No, but you're saying give stop spending so much on the military. I'm saying stop spending so much on war, which is what the military. The problem like, is we're spending so with. much by going overseas. If we were here and training, right, and developing yeah. our tech here, yeah, we would be spending a lot less, less money. Of course we would. Yeah. No, it's so, I mean, just my thoughts. Jeez. So when I just my two cents. So when we run for presidency in what? Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Yep. Don't forget, the fat guy said that. Spend money on themselves, not the people. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Lo lobbying is get a rid thing. of get rid of lobbying. Yeah. yeah. Lobbying should not be a thing. Right. There's so there's so many fucking things. Yeah, lots of things. We don't need one hour is not long enough to. Revamp the government? Revamp Are we literally government. gonna take an episode and be like, "All right, here's how you fix all the problems." Do you guys want want an entire episode of what we would do to no, revamp the fuck government? Nobody wants that. We will, we will do this. Nobody wants that. We will. You want that? We'll to do be this like, at two o'clock in the morning. We'll record a. <clears throat> Stop no. spending money on on war. That's basically. But you know what it. that reminds me of? Ads. No. Shit. What if? What if what? What if? Okay, our what if for this week? Where is what if? Here, we'll let you pick all of them this week. That's funny. You have such a funny face on you. Let me see. What if... Oh, that's a bad choice. What is that? What if they gave us the nuclear coats? Oh, shit. All right, what if we... Would you the press the coats? button? Where are they aimed? Well, I mean, we'd be able to aim them, like, too. Like, it doesn't matter. It's nuclear. We'd be fucked. Every, if the right. second one of those goes off, we'd all be fucked. Um, would they give it to one of us? 
Or would you get half and I get the what other? What if you got one key, I got the other key, and we had to work together? To but then there's someone else with a briefcase with the codes in it. No, no, no. We Ness even... has the briefcase with the codes in it. So Ness, so our producer has the briefcase with the codes. Okay. You have a key, I have, have a key. key. But here's the problem with that. We're always together. Right. That's it. You can't, you can't do that. Oh, no, I'm saying, like, you have to use both keys at the same time. Like no, I know, but, like, they give them to people who were never in the same room at the same time. If someone bombs this podcast, they walk right in, get the keys and the codes. Okay. Boom. So, I mean, but, but let's just say that, okay, individually, we each had the ability to... All right. Dangerous. Exactly. So, let's say someone attacked the United States, right? Right. Let's just say... You and I are just on a whim and be like, those sons of bitches. Supa Lupa Stan, right? Open up the thing. I don't know why I said a Stan, but yeah. Supa Lupa-Vania. Okay? Supa Lupa-Vania. Now you're fucking with Transylvania <laughs> or Pennsylvania. Has decided to attack the United States right. with an all-out effort. And they're shooting explosives at us, right? Okay. Soup-based explosives. You get the phone call on the red, on the red yep. phone in the studio. Are you going to press the button? Are you comfortable I pressing... Mean, Nuking an entire country. I mean, here's how I get over that. You know those little pointers they have at school with the little fingers? Little yeah. fingers? Would you grab one of those? I didn't push it. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. I mean, that's it how does. That works. I mean, technically. Yeah, that's how that works. It's not my hand. Or like if a fly landed on it and you accidentally ain't trying to kill it. it with <laughs> a fly swatter. Son of a bitch. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh, I didn't do that. That fly did that. No, that, yep. Yeah. I think that's still you, though. That was a fat fly. Yeah, well, yeah but you're just trying to say the effort. Yeah. The pointer is not you. You ever seen Monsters vs. Aliens? Yeah, of course. That's a great one. <laughs> the <movie>. giant buttons. <laughs> yeah. Which one of these gets me cuffed? <laughs> that one, sir. <laughs> Would mail the catch there first? Where? What were we just talking about? To... Super oh, Super Lupa Lupa Vania. Super Lupa Vania. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Why would you Here's a little... care package. And then at the same time, they're opening the package. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Distraction 101. This is a Schrodinger's nuke. <laughs> <laughs> what the Z fuck? Why are there cats in here? The nuke <laughs> is both there and not there at the same time. Yeah, to where it, exactly. That's terrible. Oh, kind of funny, soup. right? Because they'd be like DHL package delivered. If it's DHL, it'll never get there. It'll get there. <laughs> FedEx, we get FedEx mm -hmm. there. We can airdrop it. China Post. You airdrop it, just like the bomb. How about we just airdrop them pop tarts? Airdrop, airdrop. Uh, yeah, kitties. Meow, meow. How about we airdrop all the all the Karens? All the Karens. <laughs> They're all the Karens. I mean, okay, guys, that would just what would be bad enough, wouldn't that? We would need to bomb them. What would be worse? Off. A nuclear bomb or about a thousand Karens? Or a nuclear Karen. All Karens go nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> would you, I mean, would you, would you rather have to deal with, you know, nuclear fallout or a thousand Karens? What do you think? A thousand Karens? Oh, that's, I don't those know. haircuts are gnarly. I mean, and the thing is, too, is if they get to that point, right? Where it's just like... How about a thousand tiny Karens? Or well, one really yeah, big Karen? Like, th that's the... Is that like the one duck the size of a horse or a thousand duck-sized horses? Yes. What would you rather have in that situation? The tiny horses? Are you kidding me? That could be a law. No one is ever allowed to ask for a manager ever again. Oh, You'd man. have to be a manager that becomes president to make that a, a law. Right. You'd be like, oh, fuck those Karens. No, you have no Karen. Who would you ask for then? Assistant manager. Oh, sons of bitches. <laughs> Those guys. I want the store the store stocker. I'm sorry, you can't ask for the manager. Uh, how about the owner? Now they're away on vacation. All right, well, the assistant manager then? That's like a bunch of Dwights. That's terrible. You know, I was thinking about that too. Like, you know, Karen being an offensive thing and to that, right? Yeah. And I thought back on all the Karens I know. And I've only met one Karen in my life, right? Yeah. Who wasn't shitty. Who wasn't shitty? Yeah, just one. I'm thinking back now. Probably to all more. the Karens that I know. Karen, not your part. I know. Oh. Yeah. I know, yeah, Karens. Yeah, just just one. Out of like a dozen. So stop naming your kids Karen. I don't know why that's still a name, but like, yeah, it's going to be Karen is just not, not the name for you. Well, you know what that reminds me of, sir? Ads. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> I knew it. 
So, uh, you want to stand up and show off our shirts this week? We are matching, by oh, the way. This is it's from adorable. the advertiser, right? That's what this yeah. is. I think it's... Is it there? Yes. Yeah, down a little bit. Look at that. You see that little platy? Totes adorbs. Perky Platypus. Perky Platypus Publishing. They sent us these shirts, didn't they? They did, because it is their 50-year anniversary. 50 years? 50 years. Their Holy golden sh age. shit. That's amazing. So now they have the golden stamps on the back the of their books. The golden stamps. Nice. Yeah. And they have a monthly book service, right, where they send kids books that they've revamped for... For kids? For, for adults? adults. For young adults? Like, the sheep and the sheep meet a creep. Oh, that doesn't sound like a kid's right. book at all. Right, or okay. Alexander and the No Good, Very Bad Tax Return. Oh, nice, okay. You know, so, I mean, they're, they're classic tales. But, I mean, I remember reading these when I grew up. Yeah. Right? All the things you forgot. That was a good one. Right. So Except I, mean, I forgot most of the things. Right. Yeah. So there's all these wonderful tales, like, go dog, go the fuck away. Right. You know? So every month they send Everyone books, says right? Their dog. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah. Um, or, you know, every month they'll send you, what, two books, I think they said? One and a half, I thought. One and a half books. So, so that you have to so, keep, so you have to keep, because the next time they'll send you the other half of the book. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You put it together? Yeah, yeah. So, you, yeah. so by the little, time you little, get to the middle, little cliffhanger. the other book comes and you're like, oh, son of a bitch, finally. So you can start building up that beautiful library for your family. Um, I know they aren't necessarily kid appropriate. But your kids do grow older. But when your kids grow up, you can share them with uh, Brenda's Bushy Beaver, you know, the book or something That's, like that. That doesn't sound like it. That sounds like an adult book. No, no. It's about a beaver. <laughs> I, I mean, Damn. That. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh. Also, um... We love Perky Platypus. Yeah. Publishers. Their books are fantastic. Don't read them to your kids. And if you, if you go to their website, they have a dis if you use the discount code, the fat fuck. The fat fuck. Why did they do that? I, th I think they saw last week's episode. Fucking... <laughs> if you use the code, the fat fuck five, it'll give you 10% off. Your monthly, di you know, for the first year. That's not bad. Yeah, for the first 3,000 viewers. That's not bad. Yeah. So, th so that's you guys times, like, 3,000. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All five of you. So, so don't forget, it is... Perky Platypus Publishing. You know, yeah, it is. The code is... Fat, the Fat Fuck 5. Why does it sound like the Fast and the Furious one? The <laughs> Fat Fuck 5. I don't know. There's not five of me. This is the code they sent in the email. The Fat Fuck 5. And the number 5, not like written out. Mm -hmm. Sorry, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they did that. Okay. Well, you know. Is it? Beyond that, they're, they're great books for, you know, your as you age and you would... As you, and you're older. Yeah. Yeah. Like if anyone remembered our uh, Christmas story. Yeah. The, the the night before COVID. That was a good one. Um, I think that uh, we've been talking with them about maybe turning that into an actual book. Oh, nice. That'll so. be some, for next Christmas. Maybe. maybe that'd be cool. Yeah. Loved ones. The, night, the night before COVID. Nice. Because we'll still be in COVID next Christmas. Oh, of course. We'll be in Delta COVID. DC. We're only in D. Right. Yeah, we gotta, gotta go right to now, D. we've only gotten the D. We, <laughs> gotta, <laughs> we gotta go to the Z. More more hinges from our spider producer over there. Hinges. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I feel like we're in this we're in a deleted scene from Orgasmo. Ah Orgasmo. What have you seen Orgasmo? That's a great fucking movie. Look at look at me with the hinges thing. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and here you ah. are, just doing more of it. <laughs> Why is it every time I do I do like the Wario sound like wah wah Wario? Yeah. But you're giving everybody fantastic gifts. I'm just gonna like wow. go like this is wow. great. Wow. <laughs> it's a me, Wario. <laughs> Jizz what? everywhere. What is wrong with you? Wow. This is like <laughs> lot. We're just getting viewers wow. left and right. Just like this is the intro. <laughs> Knock it off. I'm gonna have to censor you before Facebook bans us right what? now. They're gonna be like, no. "What was that censor?" <laughs> no. I'm just, Christ. just come. Sorry. Hey, everybody. guess what? I did start an OnlyFans. Don't have any pictures yet. You started an OnlyFans? Well, I started. I got the, the, the oh, like, beginning fuck. stuff done. All right, guys, you did it. You did it officially. 
<laughs> you you nagged him so much that his wife was like, ah, right, we're all right, fine, him. you know, put your b hole on t-shirts. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna um, do? We're talking about the logistics of this. <laughs> oh man! But you know what that reminds me of? Uh, I can. Uh, let's see if I can guess. Motorcycles. No, no, bears on unicycles. I was so close. No, not really. You know, you know what's interesting? We're talking about COVID, talking about all this stuff. What's that? The job market. Oh, okay. So now, right now, I know you have an an all right job. I so got a job. Yeah. yeah, it pays. It's great. I have a job. Not necessarily the happiest with that position, but while looking into other positions, right. it seems like there is a lot of jobs and a lot of people taking those jobs. No, are those jobs offering a good amount of money? Some. Like, I know that Subway's still struggling, and they're offering $16 an hour, Jesus. and then an extra $2 an hour if you make it to the first 90 days for all those hours you worked. Wow. That's quite a lot, dude, for working in a sandwich shop. To make sandwiches. To make sammies. To make sandwiches. But I mean, I assume if they're the only place that has enough people to make food, they're the place that people are going to go eat. Arby's opened back up for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I know I tried to get in there, the doors were locked. <laughs> they're only open Monday through Friday till 5. Arby's? Yeah. I tried to get in there, but there was a line in the drive but they wouldn't. Arby's the was not eat open. flesh. Like only dine out. Yeah, it's only around. Which is nuts now because we're now in a new like version of COVID, so they're gonna just shut everything down. Cocoa nuts, dude! Don't tempt me to just leave this job right now. Well, you know, if you want to go make sandwiches, make I'm not, I, I'm not gonna say get in the kitchen and make a sandwich because that sounds terrible. But, but really get in the kitchen and make a sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> Sorry, you're not a sandwich maker. You are a sandwich artist. Artist. Artiste. You're a Sammy artiste. Are you Vanna White? No. That's more, that's <laughs> that's fancy hand jizz, is what that is. Hand jizz. Stop it. Hand jizz. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to say about him. Hand jizz. I know exactly what's going on tonight, and I'll have a word with him afterwards. Wait, but like, wait, 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 wait. As he's in there, right? There's jizz everywhere. <laughs> That's American Sign Language for. No, I know. I've seen, Jesus this. I've seen this comment everywhere. Well. Make sandwiches, Make sandwiches wipe, wipe a booty. booty. Now the real contest. Okay. What about jizz everywhere? <laughs> now you do it. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Uh, uh, the last eight minutes has just been <laughs> you doing hand jobs. Like, jizz. Sorry. Jizz <laughs> everywhere. Ew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know. Especially if you're making sandwiches. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, where do they think they get the mayo from? <laughs> oh, that's gross. No one's going to Subway again. Ever again. No one's ever yeah. going to Subway. <laughs> sir, sir, get your dick out of the jalapenos. <laughs> Christy is like, uh... <laughs> Did you want me to repeat that one for you? It's jizz. No, stop it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what does he have to do with this? <laughs> Did he jizz a... <laughs> don't, don't. I'm just gonna leave. Skinny dude, would, would, would he masturbate like this or like this? I'm just <laughs> walking like this. I'm uh, walking off. No, you're not. We That's got, what you had to say about the job market. The kids. job market made you end up there. You got a lot. No, of, the job market. <laughs> the thing with the job market is, is, I don't know. There's a lot of jobs that have now moved remote, right? And nobody wants to work. At but the office. problem is, is even though they're offering remote, they want you to be there. Like, oh, well, you can do this from your house, but we want you to live in Chicago. What I see the other day, somebody on Reddit said, uh, should your job have to pay for your internet while you work from home during COVID? Yeah. What do you think? No. Why not? Because, you, well... You're spending if eight of your hours... If they're requiring you to have a particular internet speed... Yeah. To adjust... Or, no, just to keep up with email, just to, like, just to, just to be at your job. Like, I worked remotely, and I had to be on the computer, like, all day. Would you have had internet like, otherwise? My email. Would I had internet? Yeah, right. but my internet sucked. Well, you upgraded. Right. right. So that I could have good so internet. Maybe they so should my the bosses difference. pay the difference or, or, or eight hours a day for whatever it was for the last year? Right, or increase your salary slightly to cover that cost. I mean, is that, fa- is that fair to do? I don't, I, I think if it becomes a requirement of the position, yes. Or people are working from home. Like if it, right. if we allow you to work from home now, 
we're gonna pay for your internet. I think if it, I think if it's an option, like you can work from home or work in the office, that I don't think they should have to pay for it because they're giving you an option. Okay. But I think if you're forced to work from home and you're not a freelancer, right? Right, right. Then that you they should pay for your shit. Either that or make your salary or something your, pay the difference so pay that you're equal, not paying you know, just be for more them. equitable to that. I mean, in the same sense, if they should pay for your internet, then you should start work the second you leave your house. Because travel to work is work. It's well, not. Yeah. I mean, I. I you you essentially have left that job to get to your job by on a certain time, so your job starts when you leave your house that and is, when you get home. But the only issue with that too is you decide where. If you decide where you work, then you are putting upon yourself that distance. But if your employees want you to. I mean, in the in the technological day and age right now, like you don't have to work from your job, but if they're Fair making enough. you come to work, they should pay for your travel, should they not? Mm, I don't know because, like I said, if what if you know you could do the same job in town, but you choose to work for a company in Traverse City. Yeah. Right. You are making the choice to drive to that job. I agree with you. If you like, if I lived in Traverse City and then I got a job in Traverse City and I was like, oh, you're gonna pay me mileage? Fuck you! And I move to Chicago. Right. Then no. But if I lived in Chicago and they hired me, knowing damn well where I live, then fuck yes. They well, sure. Pay for or like, like if, if you we had a, if you worked for a place in Charlevoix, right, mm-hmm. and then they moved their facility to Traverse City and wanted to, you to stay employed, right? Then they should. They should pay for your job, right? But if you made the decision to work for them where they're at, yeah, then you made the decision, and I, I don't. I don't know if I agree with that because they hired you. Well, we you didn't to. hire them for for a job, but you chose to go work. For them, mm, knowing but that they, they but distance. they know where you live. They could have easily been like, "Yeah, you live too far away. Do you want to they relocate? Could've. We'll pay for you to relocate." You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, well, they I said think, you're I still think... you're still saying the big man who has all this money, all this shit, should say to the person, "Yeah, but you should either move closer. or We're not going to pay you." It's pretty shitty. That's I think saying. you're incorrect on here. I think you, if you want to so. choose a job that's closer, I mean, that's fine. But what if you live in a small place like this but the big jobs are in the city but you don't, can't have enough money to move to the city yet so you go get a job you're like as soon as I can move I'll move but I can't afford it and they're like oh well then too bad we're going to have to hire somebody in the city I think you make that choice I appreciate I think that like, I don't think you're making that choice I think you're given that choice oh I think like I think this I mean the, the it, it's painted on the table to you it's like oh well this is it then you can't afford because you live in like a shitty place but then what would stop someone from getting a job an hour and a half away just so that they could bank that extra driving time every day. What stops people from raping the system for state assistance just so that they can sell meat on the parking lot? Right. So like, you're, you're adding on to that kind of it's just the distorting the system. I'm assuming people will just be good people. and. Well, that's your problem mm-hmm. right there is assuming that anyone's going to be good at anything. Oh, I know that, but... I mean, good at anything. <laughs> and there it is again. Uh, you got a lot on your mind, buddy. I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> Once again, I'm just kidding. I'm apologies. Not... Can't believe you're making me apologize for you. That's it. you don't apologize for me. <laughs> Even the producer's like, "What the fuck?" I know. She lives with me. What are we at right now? I don't know. I've jerked let's off so it. many times. Let's do it. Let's do <laughs> our master uh, let's debaters. See. Master debaters. Let's see what we got, producer. Master debaters. No, no, they got to do the graphic. You're supposed to be on this. Yeah, do the graphic. All right, what do we got there, producer? You know, you could have just read it to me. What does it say? Beards versus no beards. Ooh. That's ironic considering I just tried. Okay, this. Christy, thank you so much. I'm on the same fucking page as you are, but I like somebody else sees it. Sexual frustration. You're over there jizzing all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Jizz everywhere. Look, look everywhere. Both of them. Oh. Christy, you can't see the producer, but she's doing the same fucking thing. That's right. Everyone's jizzing everywhere. The reason why the walls are white. This is terrible. <laughs> so, beards, obviously, I'm going to take the beards. Okay, all right. You know what? I can debate anything, motherfucker. No I, beards. You look like I look like a twelve-year-old with no beard. You know though. Th- so does he? I win. Thank <laughs> you so much. First off, the beards. Argument over. Next topic. Beards collect all sorts of things, right? 
Yeah. Food while you're eating, stuff like Straight that. Straight people. Yeah, yeah, they do. Like little birds. birds. <laughs> bird I have a bird nest in here with three little baby <laughs> birds right now. Choop, 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 choop. Exactly. Uh, sex toys for Christmas? It's Are you great. buying me Christmas presents, Christy? Like one of those ones that look, like work look, across the world, they're Bluetooth here's control. Here's something you can't do with no beard. I can keep pens in here. All yeah, day. Yeah, that's gross. You All know, day. You know how greasy that pen is now? All day. Okay. And the other thing is like especially Fuck yourself. Do that with, do that on your cheek. Show me that you can do that on your cheek. <laughs> and that's what I thought. <laughs> with your eye. Yep. He's a fucking pirate. <laughs> But the answer is a bearded man with good hygiene. See, dude wins. Boom. No, Billy Jane. Boom. The answer, the answer is the answer that wins, dude. It doesn't matter, you know, whether you have good hygiene or not. Okay? I think it Let's does. say you be like a farm or something like that. That sweat's building up all day. <sighs> but then even you, if, you wash can't. You don't have the time to. Your fucking beard. Or you're beard. like a fucking mechanic. Who the fuck wash your fucking beard at the end of the day? Yeah, but that's. What about the in between times, right? When you're in between, doing work when and you're, you're working, breathing in all that shit. Who the fuck takes right, a break grease in your to beard? wash their... And beards I'm, are is that flammable. Why, is that why right. mechanics take fucking forever? Because they're washing mm -hmm. their fucking shit, pulling their goddamn Let's, beards? In the middle, they're like, oh, it's greasy. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta take an hour to take a shower. Not taking fans, but my wife is not a fan when I grow out my beard. Oh, that sucks, man. Right. That sucks. So, do you look like a 12-year-old? Nick I'm just saying, Nick like, does I does not look like a twelve year old. I'm saying, dude, I look like I'm saying oh, I, I look like a twelve year old. I, I look when I very young. I actually have a really nice cleft in my chin. I have a nice, firm, solid chin. Do you? The reason yes. I grew my beard out for this far is because my chin is literally down here. I think that I grew my started growing my beard out because when I was in the military, I couldn't have one. They wouldn't let you. you mean. No. So this is like a big challenge. Like fuck you. And then I just kind of always liked having it on there. But I mean, honestly, like there are some gross factors. You got them, but there are some gross factors of having a beard. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. I mean, or I get, like, the hairs in my mouth, or... Oh, the mustache hairs in your mouth is the worst. Right, so that's true. Yeah. Mask <laughs> will never fit. I mean, that's true, but... My receding hairline prevents me from looking like a 12-year-old. Well, see, <sighs> you would think that being bald, I'd be okay. Maybe I'd look more like Vin Diesel or something, but I'm You'd look like, like a skinhead. Yeah. If you shaved your beard, I think you'd look just straight up like a skinhead. That's just terrible, sir. Why is that yeah. terrible? That's what you look like. So... I think in reality, like beards versus no beards, I think it's definitely personal preference. I think preference so too. People around you, yeah. But I think if you keep it well trimmed and keep it taken care of, that's different. Yeah. But there are a lot of situations where you can't. Like in a kitchen, sure. You wear a beard net. Yeah, even if you're wearing a beard net, there's still a chance to collect stuff or stuff falls yeah. out of your beard. Yeah. You know, or you know, there ends up being a lot more work just to maintain everyday life. Yeah, I think so too. Right. But I think it's a personal choice as well. But I also think like. Beards are also just like a tougher aesthetic. And the other thing right? is, like, like, the, like the, the, the having a big beard has become almost like fashionable. The, the thing I know, like that it, bothers me. It does. I know. Right, like, like oh well, I have a beard now, and you know, but it's like I it's feel like funny. there's a certain persona that comes with actually having a beard. Right now, like you've got to be tough or you've got to be like hardcore. Wasn't it like hipster for a while having yeah. a big big beard? See, I think in high school, whenever I grew a beard, I always had at least a goatee that was really long. I always mm -hmm. liked the long, like, that kind of thing. And then when I was able to grow a beard, I was like, fuck, yeah. Just do it all the way. I don't do, I can't do a whole beard. You can't? No. You look like you have stubble everywhere. Oh, so no, like, dude. What, what's no, no, no. So, so, I physically can grow a whole beard. Yeah. My face is on fire. If oh, I it's grow too hot? Too hot. It's pretty warm. I like it in the and wintertime, it though. it looks goofy. Like, where do you decide where to cut it when you're bald? The top of your ear. You, I just shave my head, dude, like right there. You just do it. Just, it's, you got to fade them in and out, though. Like, even you gotta, when you fade it out, when you're bald, it's if you have some hair in here, like you shave your head down, right? Yeah. But I don't shave it with a razor like right. you. To like I'm Mr. Like, Clean. Do I, do I do like the little sunglasses strap we're causing? You know, yeah, no, you do it down the, at the back and then hook them up like the... Monkey tail? Yes. So... I don't, I don't know. I think that beards are great. You should do the Homer Simpson. But, Have it come up and then just do the zigzag all the way around. But I definitely think that there's a lot more maintenance, a lot of work to having a beard. If you're responsible to but have he, it. Okay, but here's the way that I feel about that. It's less maintenance than shaving your beard every day. Mm, like having this beard, I don't not, do... I don't. I wash it when, like, but I don't. I don't have to. If you're keeping it really clean and maintained, you should be cleaning it, combing it, and oiling it, it. Yes, and shaving it every morning becomes a hassle. 
Well, but some people don't shave every day, every other day or something like some that. Some people do, though. Some people have to. Some people do. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you rather have a beard? Would you rather have a beard? Are you just asking, like, everyone? Who wants a beard? Who Smack. Wants a <laughs> you get a beard. You Oprah with What are you, Oprah? Yeah. Stuff? You get a beard. You get a Fu Manchu. You, bitch you, get, you get a beard. You get a goatee. I mean. A trucker beard. No, I like nope. how the answers are nope. just like nope, no, nope. nope, not touching that, not touching that, not talking about the Chinese chin here. Nope, 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 nope. You know what this reminds me of? Ads? No. What? I don't know. Um, yeah. You know what? You know what really makes? You know what? I found out the other day. You know about this. <laughs> oh, your mom. Nope. The <laughs> Chinese. The, the old like. Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay. So, uh, so we learned the other day. One of our advertisers from season one oh. has passed away. Oh, that son of a bitch. You have a little goddamn respect. Fuck that asshole, dude. Okay. He was a piece of shit. He murdered like eight people. So I don't care. So Good fucking riddance. Bubba. Fuck him. From Bubba's Burst and Burritos. Yeah, piece of garbage. Mr. White, right? Yeah, Mr. Murderer. We found that he has uh, recently they had found him he in the woods. He has ridden the pig down into the burning pits of hell. They found his good fucking riddance. They found his tent torn up. Looks like maybe some, some bears or something had got into there with all the thawed off burritos and stuff he had surrounded himself with. And, maybe. Uh, Do you think he covered himself in hot sauce? I in I pepper don't spray. Know. Keep I the bears know. away. But uh, we thought maybe as a sign, you know, as maybe you, a remember you him thought or as a gesture. I think he's a piece of shit. As a gesture, we're going to play his first He's a piece of advertisement with us from season one. Oh, boy. Um, so, why don't you do me a favor and click add two, and let's take a minute, a moment of silence. We'll add one. For, for Bubba. For Bubba. He folded up. He did. Rest in peace, you son of a bitch. I mean, he's a rest in shit. There you go. Please. Yeah, go ahead. Well, hey, y'all. You looking for an amazing Mexican-style dinner without crossing the border? You want to feel like there's a fiesta in your mouth? Well, come on down to Bubba's Burst and Burritos. We serve all your Mexican favorites. Burritos, tamales, quesadillas, and nachos. And every Thursday is all you can eat chicken fajitas with hot, fresh, homemade tortillas. Don't forget to try our Bubba's Burst and Challenge Burrito. It's a five pound burrito with cow, chicken, pork, deer, cilantro rice, guacamole, and Fritos with an entire pound of Mexican cheese. We'll proudly serve you Mexican drinks like Mountain Dew, Bud Light with lime, and frozen margaritas. We're open from 10 to 8 on Mondays through Thursday, and 8 to 11 on Friday and Saturday. Closed on Sunday so we can all go to church. So come on down to Bubba's Burst and Burritos, where every day is a Sietza. Now we're serving chorizo breakfast burritos. Good fucking riddance. So, maybe just a moment of silence here. Okay. Are you doing a moment of silence? Just you? Okay. That's great. So, that piece of garbage. Did you stop jizzing at everything? Jizz all over the place while this guy's having a moment of silence. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. That's hilarious. Fuck that dead guy. Okay. So. <laughs> Producers good, jizzing, goodbye. spider jizzing all over the dead guy. What is with our people and dying? And, uh, okay. So we thought, I don't know, but I hope the cops don't get involved because it looks really bad. Uh, well, you know, if we start losing more advertisers that way. We did steal his recipe. Okay, here you go. It's time for... Like you said, we were letting the producer pick all these. You did say that. Let's... Google phobia. Ah! Okay, so I guess we'll let a picker, but at least read it this one out loud instead of just showing me. Oh, here's one. Ablutophobia. Ablutophobia? Uh, fear of grandmas? Ablutophobia. Spanish grandmas? Ablutophobia. Ablu Ablu <laughs> Ablutophobia. Abuela. Abuelophobia? What is it? Maybe it's a fear of ambulances. Ablutophobia. What's a blute? Ablutophobia. 
A blue oh, a brute? It's fear of Popeye's arch rival Blue Pluto. Pluto? Yeah. Fear of big guys. Fear of me? Fear of big guys that wear berets. I don't wear berets. And chase olive oil. Alright. Ready? That's what I'm saying. It is. Okay, Google. What is ablutophobia? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. You, you know what? Found something related. Do you want to know whether Mambo Kings is a true story? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. No. Bitch. All right, producer, you get to be Google. Hey, producer, what is ablutophobia? Ablutophobia is the overwhelming fear of bathing, cleaning, or washing. It's an anxiety disorder that falls into the category of specific phobias. Ew. So it's someone who's dirty. Fear of Mexicans. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Christy. Whoa. This is where you are. This is where I need you to be. Bring it down a level. Holy shit. Oh Whoa. shit. I can't believe she, she really Ooh. went there. Oh, wow. Ooh. I know we don't vet these first, but damn. <laughs> Your mom has it with like, wait, tell me about Mambo Kings. <laughs> oh, so the fear of bathing. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Possibly. I think I've met a few people with this phobia. Holy shit. Man. I'll give that more a moment of silence than Bubba. Yeah, no. So, uh... Definitely bathe. If you have this phobia, please just, just hose off You're somewhere. You're a dirty motherfucker. <laughs> if you have this phobia, I'm sorry to say. You're a dirty motherfucker. Go jump in the goddamn lake. Oh, man. Holy well, shit. Well, you know what time it is, actually? Time to take a bath. It's <laughs> time to like, take a bath. If you're it's a time phobic. for cheese. It, it's the cops. Give me a click real quick. You're bathing Mexicans, your mom says. Cheese it. It's the cops! Okay, guys. Well, to be honest, this week we don't have cheese. In turn, if some of you saw the picture or heard, we have different Kit Kats. So our producer is going to come sit with us. So we're going to taste Kit Kats. We're going to taste well, six, is it? Or seven? How many Kit Kats we got there? Looks like six. Oh, seven. Seven. Seven Kit Kats. She just gave me the L for losing. Seven Kitty Cats. All right. Well, let's scoot her back a little bit. Oh, look. Look at this shirt. Oh, yeah. Show them the shirt. You can show them after. We'll show them at the end here. Okay. Make a little space here. So why don't we start with, look at this. We're going to start with the original. Original, so we know what the taste we're comparing to. Classic <laughs> Kit Kat. She's not here when we got them. Base Kit Kats. All right, let's do this. All right. Give me a break. So here we go, original Kit Kats. Are we, like, having a piece and then using it as a palate cleanser between each one? No, I think we should just, you know. All right. All right, original Kit Kat. Can't tell the last time I had one of these. Yesterday. What is the little, little tiny one? Hmm. That's a good crisp. Chocolate. Fantastic. The original. The funny thing is about this, you know what I really like about Kit Kats? There's the ones that are messed up and can't go. They get grinded up and added to extra chocolate, and that's what makes the layers in between. I bought half of them. I mean, alright. That's good. Well, we'll my, fa my favorite kind of Kit Kat. The <laughs> one they didn't pay for? No, the... Yes? No, the original Kit Kat. Okay. So Kit Kat number one. Yeah. Don't worry... Mom, I'm sure we'll pick up more of these. Or, you know, I'll save the last one. Like you're them I know the right way to eat them, but... Okay. Yeah, you take the whole thing and you bite it. Right. So this is key lime pie. I'm not excited about this one. Key lime pie. You don't like key lime pie? No, not particularly. No. Key like lime pie, pie is really like more of like a really summery, refreshing pie. I also don't agree with chocolate that looks like that. You know what I mean? Let's, like, let's, that just doesn't look right. Take a second. We'll give them a smell. Did you 
what kind of green I mean, they smell, they smell like... Hmm. Ooh, they actually smell pretty good. Limey. They smell better than they taste. It tastes like white chocolate with a hint of, like, lime sherbet. I can definitely taste, like, the lime sherbet. I... No, so, Mom would say that you would do this. Bite them off in layers. And that drives me nuts. Mm. He does that with Twix bars, too. Nope. We kick out that one bite. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah. It's kind of limey. You know what? I'm going to like I'm gonna switch this around like. because I think putting that next to the fruity cereal one is just going to be a little off. Yeah, you know, something in between. That's why I think we needed a base of like regular Kit Kats. Yeah, I should have bought a few of them. That's okay. This is our first time. We have the big Kit Kat. Wow. And you know, guys, we were thinking since we've been through so many cheeses, maybe we should move to Oreos. That's a lot, buddy. Which well, one is this? This is the. Oh god, I'm not gonna like that at all. I don't like coffee. We'll have to finish this. Mm. All right, so this is the mocha and chocolate. Oh. Well, it smells like the coffee I had earlier. No. Ready? Mm. See, I like coffee. Tink. Oh. It's much better than the key lime one. But. Mm. Well, I got my coffee fix for the day. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's just nope. a little bit of espresso in there. No, nope, don't like it one bit. <laughs> like, I can deal without the bottom part. The top part, I can definitely do. That one's yucky. Yeah, that no, one's yucky. No, that one's actually pretty good. Better than the key lime, but... I would rather get the key lime than that coffee one. All right, guys. Fruity cereal. Oh. See, I'm really anticipating this one. I don't know about this one either. Smell that. Oh, it smells it good. It's like fruity pebbles. Oh. See, Chrissy, thank you. It, it smells and tastes delicious. I mean, that one smells like candy. Alright. That one smells like candy. Tink it and stick it in your mouth. Mm. That's what she said. It tastes like soggy down fruity bubbles. Yeah. Mm. Like, you don't want them to sit in the milk a little too long? Oh, yeah, I like it. But I think that... All right. You know what that one tastes like? What? You ever had those cereal straws? for Loops? Hmm. Cereal straws, they're made at, like... I've seen straws. them. I've seen them, never had them. You put them in milk and you give them to the kids. You drink the milk out of them, then you eat the cereal straws, become they soggy. But see, it That's shows what it tastes like, like. bullish. Fruit Loops? Yeah. No, it definitely tastes like... It tastes like Fruit Loops. You know what I'm noticing? I'm gonna get those cereal tubes and we'll, well, yeah. cereal straws. You know what I'm noticing though? Is that these, the newer ones, the ones that are more white chocolate based, are soggier. They don't have the same crispness. Mm. That one's alright. Yes, 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 she is. Okay, this is mint and dark chocolate. This one will probably be delicious. And our producers are gonna disagree because she doesn't like dark chocolate. Because it doesn't matter, I think mint and anything really well. Well, but she likes uh, like, York peppermint patties. Until mm. like six, seven years ago, I didn't know Ooh, York that peppermint smells, patties were dark. That smells like those mints you get on a pillow, like at a oh. hotel. On a pillow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It smells like Andy's mints. Yeah. It does. Yeah, those are the mints I was talking about. Mm. All right. Dark, let it spark. I wish it was crispier. I don't know. I like that. But it is good. Okay. Great, this one last. I've been a good palate cleanser. This is a good one. Hmm. Mm. I still don't like dark chocolate, but this isn't bad. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's an odd aftertaste to me. I don't know. I like that one. Yeah. Hmm. Out of all of them. All right, guys. That's my second favorite. White chocolate Kit Kat. I don't know, Christy. That one was pretty good. 
Yeah. And then dark chocolate and mint. That was really good. That was a nice combination, all of them. I think they're white chocolate and mint, or dark chocolate and mint is always a good combo. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm sure we've all had something similar to this at least. I do not like white chocolate. See, for every for Easter, I'd always ask for a white chocolate bunny. Yeah, I don't like them. It's, it's too sweet. I just don't like it. Yeah. All right, now it's white. Let's eat it right. There you go, Mom. Mm -hmm. There are some things that white chocolate are good for. It's not a Kit Kat. This is not one of them. Mm -mm. Easter bunnies are better. A little more mm. creamier. Apple pie Kit Kat. Ew. We will, if you guys can find us more of these and send them in, yeah. we'll do it again. Apple pie Kit Kat. Sounds interesting, but like... <clears throat> Y'all saw that. <laughs> and uh, shit. let's finish this off with an original, but a big Kit Kat. This is the Big Cat. Wow. We're not each getting a piece of this. We're going to have to break this one up. Oh, there's only two of them. Yeah. And my hands are I'm big motherfuckers. Yeah. Sure. Where's your sword? <laughs> Over there. All right. Look at that. That's a big. That's a big boy. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that isn't breaking the thirds like I had hoped. That's a big boy. There you go. All right, last one. <sighs> Clunk and thunk. Uh, iced tea? What? What I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, this is the energy one. It doesn't really give me any energy, but it's delicious. <clears throat> Alright, guys. How's the winner? Original Kit Kat. I didn't mind the big one. I like the crispness. Uh, I think it was not enough chocolate. But Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, I'm going to get up real quick so that our producer can show you her shirt. Because if you were here for last week's conversation, that was a pretty funny joke. Hey, buddy. Pull that out of the shop. Here, turn it around. Spider Jizz Productions. Spider Jizz. Alright, guys. We will see you next week. Bye. Same bad time? Same bad channel. Alright, fuck and off now. Man, this shit is fun, we hope you liked it too But we don't give a fuck because this one is ooh My goodbye, you fucks, goodbye Cause now we've got to go And hey, I say, now go away Cause we'll see you very soon, I know Lots of two Goodbye, goodbye, you fucks, goodbye. There's no more time to play. The mic, the twig, and the big fat fuck will be waiting for you to come press play. Come press play. Come press play. Okay, fuck off now. Hey, hey, no, 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 fuck, I'm gonna eat this, no, fuck you, god damn it, no, this is...